past few uh, months, specifically these past few seasons, I guess, of the PR ranking and everything, just generally in NorCal Smash, he's been going to a lot of sagas, he's been improving a lot, and obviously Shaky, a player of his, like, a player of another tier. Oh, yeah. So a very, very amazing player. If I'm correct, DSS was actually close to getting on PGR this season. Indeed, yeah. He was actually very, very, very close. Very close. Did a really good job at, um, at all the, like a lot of the sagas. I, I can't remember exactly which ones, but he did a very, very good job at a lot of them. It's all I know. Seeing these two is going to be crazy. I'm hoping to see some really cool stuff with some Ness up these. Yeah, I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see Ness on Shaky and probably Meta Knight. Maybe Cloud? Because he, I, I, really? I, I have a feeling that it's, yeah, it's Meta Knight Ness. I don't know how Meta Knight actually does in doubles. I feel like, I feel like he's really good in doubles. Like, cause the I mean, up B conversions, and one up air connecting to up B is something that can definitely be exploited. We also did see uh, the when Cost was still here. We saw the uh, the up air, the wind box pushing up Meta Knight so you can get the kill off the top really early. Yeah. One of the funniest things I've ever watched in my life. I love, I love that. I love, uh, Game Watch is so funny to watch in doubles because he just has so many different things he can do with he, his interactions with different characters are so weird. But I mean, obviously, I've seen both these players actually use Game & Watch before, so it's not out of the possibility that they use it. <laughs> and plus, both these characters use projectiles. Obviously, Hitaku and Athena, very projectile-heavy players for the most part. Very, very patient players, as we said earlier. And they're not afraid to, like we said earlier, camp and try to charge up their projectiles and just generally create space between the two. You guys probably didn't see this cameo, but uh, Shaky took his phone out of his pocket and it was charging. and. Uh, that was Stax's here charging cord. Oh yeah, that was my, that was my charging cord. Right. Just letting you guys know. He better <laughs> kill <laughs> Or I'll kill you. Anyway, we're gonna get the All game right. here. Game one, both players kind of, or Ooh, Shaky and Potosky sort of sticking out. DSS, oh, getting a good combo with the Nairs. Athena needs to get them off. She can sit back and charge, but they're doing some great combos for a lot of damage. Ooh, and I like that grab into the immediate back air from, uh, from Athena. Hitaku and Athena separating each of them. These two are dynamic together, so yeah, they, they're just throwing they know that a part of it is just making sure they stay away. Yeah, they're kind of just throwing each player back and forth at each other and kind of just separating the two. Like we saw, that's what we saw last game. A lot of separation by the two players, and now Shaky off stage with Hitaku. Oh, and, and Shaky got that option with the tech right there from Hitaku. I honestly think he's there. That's what I was expecting as well. And I like the, the attempt to save. Uh, Ooh, the ball, oh, and so Athena missing the tech. Stage. Yeah, that was very unfortunate, and I like Up B, no, no. Ooh, but yeah, up B. Frame trap right there does manage to get him. Oh, and getting the wall read. Shaky going off. Yeah. They got a very good lead. One stock off each player. Yeah, two very important stocks immediately after the match. And we're going to hopefully see ooh, the combo right now. DSS setting him up. And Shaky up B. I'm surprised so that they hit him right there. Scary situation. Shaky, I love the save right there from DFS to get uh, to get Shaky back on the stage. Getting a Fiend off stage, and this is Meta Knight, folks. Deadly off stage. Yeah. But no. Ooh. Making back to stage with Telep. I don't know what it's called. The uh, the dimensional cape right there. Yeah. Like the interruption right there to save him with uh, to back air. Is that gonna take it? Nope. DFS still lives. Stuck and throwing the baby. Oh, that was ball. so bad. It's like oh, oh, oh. unfortunately there. Air dodging. Expecting possibly a different move. Athena you know, throwing out up air before DSS could respond with anything. Oh, and the down smash right there from Shaky actually getting a quick stock off of Athena. And they have a very large lead. Five stocks to two. And Hitachi was off stage, but a quick stock right there from Athena. Managing to get that stock off Shaky. With both these kind of characters, I feel like playing patient isn't really that well of an option for them. Yeah, they so you can see the aggression just happening throughout this match. No, they just have a lot of very quick uh, zone, zone breakers for the most part. The dash side for Meta Knight, uh, just the, the head, uh, all, the, all the options that Ness has in general. Oh yeah. And I like the up here right there. Just get a little bit more damage. Quite scaled back at this point, I think. But uh, Hitaku has to be careful with that Shadow Ball because Shaky will re restore a lot of health if Hitaku goes They're on stage, not going to quite kill. Good They're player. not going to take it, but we might Ooh. see another one. Nope. Nice back right there. there, cornering him. Yeah, that was a very scary situation. And the up oh! right there is so quick off that down throw. And Getting that up B, and DSS oh, saying I'm also going to up B you, by the way. Four stop from DSS and Shaky. Clean. That was a very, very clean. clean combo right there. But Hitaku and Athena are not going to let that happen again. This is a team that adapts after that first game. You guys saw how it went. They got three stocks first game last set. 
and then the next they three stocked them and presumed yeah. to continue with that. Yeah, they got they got kind of the work in game one and the other set, but they managed to bring it back and maybe we'll be able to see it here. But obviously, Shaky and DSS are players of their own caliber. Oh yeah. Not discrediting the other two. Oh, oh and, and the shoe break! But oh, but Athena saving him. Yeah, Good a job. A lot of damage right here from DSS. And maybe it's oh, not that it and a Oh my god. Percent. And that is the danger of being a floaty against Just, the character. You know, shield broken and Athena saves him, and that probably, you yeah, know, restores his faith and then yeah, getting the kill. Off that. Like, that's crazy to think about. Oh actually, my gosh, DSS not letting down on the aggression, the Taku sort of getting away, charging Shadow Ball. Yeah, and now he's hitting Shaky. Shaky doesn't have a jump. He's just gonna try. Oh, that's a very scary situation for the red team, actually. I like the down smash, trying to cover Shaky's that. Shaky's close to up the range for Mewtwo. Actually, maybe there. Oh, but up there takes it. Nice job from Athena. Sort of tying it up, though they have a little bit more percentage. This is definitely a very close game right now. Not out of the possibility, but quite a bit of percentage on the blue team. Very, very small amount of percentage on uh, on the red team, obviously. And trying to find that up air does get it, but not quite the percentage. DSS getting the back air. And the next back air is so strong and kills so early. Yeah, very large knockback rate on that. Athena threw her thunder, just hitting Hintaku. I like the oh. there from DSS, trying to find a kill off stage, and thankfully that didn't hit him into the stage. DSS continuing to just manage to get these amazing hits, and is he going to go for it again? Oh, oh right, right there! And that was so good from DSS. Getting such a good lead again, being up by two stocks. Yeah, this is very vital, and the down smash actually catches up on the back hit, but not the correct amount of knockback for that. DSS still sits at three stocks for the stock taking right now. Yeah, I mean, this man is just stock taking like a man, like just like a man. Oh, yeah, and he's still staying aggressive. That's the impressive part. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd say Shaky has been the main aggressor of this. Just kind of stick. I mean, both of them have been, been being very aggressive. I expected that punish. A little bit of greed there from DSS, but nonetheless, yeah. a lot of damage. And trying to find that PK Thunder. Oh, oh my god, and that is get up. I think. Get up actually what happened was uh, he wasn't he didn't have a hitbox yet and possibly the upbeat went through him and hit uh, Shaky. So it meant uh, it caught his uh, his one for getup. Back row, gonna kill right there, and now it is a 2v1 with four stocks on the right. Are we gonna see another cool little combo that they did like last time? Maybe a little oh, bit. Oh, I thought that actually killed oh, I thought I that was gonna take Yeah, when he air dodged. Yeah, I couldn't see his uh, model for a second. And the dimensional came back to hitting right there. And they're just putting on the hitting pressure him with on the PK Thunder. He just can't touch the stage, but I like the back here right there. Ooh, the off smash. Oh, come on, he actually hits the players. And nice stock right there. Hitaku showing a little life, actually. But that up Oh, uh, man. And hitting up clips him right there. Two uppies. The PK tail does clip from both. Is it best of five? It's best of five. I think it's All right. Two, it seven. is best of five. These two are. Just continuing to, you can tell Hitaku knows he's thinking about what went wrong and what they need to do to fix it. Indeed. We'll see what that can do in game three. Or they did such a shaky and DSS are an absolute destruction. Yeah, their aggression is right now just on point. They are a tractor ramming through right now. It like, is like, oh my gosh. Like they're like Ryu's forward air, just a truck, just going through. I get it. And they're like Luigi's in air. Yeah. So fast. So Comes fast. out of nowhere, but does so much damage. <laughs> Can kill. Oh, it's still so warm in here, you guys. But nonetheless, with so many people. We're doing some good doubles. It's so it's so great seeing all these people come out. You know, uh, we actually have Solomar and Teb as a team, and uh, legit and uh, virus. Legit and virus. Legit and, legit and virus. We have not. I have actually not seen them play yet, but I know they played earlier on stream. All right, game two. Game three. Game three. But Back it's two. Oh. Bowser is I did not expect this. Maybe it's not the that Nils need to happen so more. So, the problem is, is he's going to get combat again. Oh, but yeah. Honestly, the PK Fire isn't going to be able to do as much to him because obviously he has the, um, the big guy. I think oh, the no. Right now, it's but it's just... Oh, no, but he's no Bowser. Yeah, Bowser, Bowser and Battlefield are our best buddies. And tries to go to have a Prince Smash. Bear, oh my god, I could not interrupt this. So he has to be really careful about how he presses that grab, because up throw has a very, very neutral hitbox. 
where if you're on the side of it, it will just send you to the, the left or the right very quickly. And honestly, this isn't going too badly, actually, for the... And the checkmate from Athena. And this is actually the first time that they've actually had a lead in this match. Oh, oh save. Save right there. And I don't think he meant to do the back or the, the fourth throw. He meant to do the back air, possibly. And the down B right there from Itaku, just getting a lot of damage. Still managing to take the stock, though. And Athena's getting back thrown, but if actually hits off the save there. It was such a good option right there from Itaku. And honestly, I did not expect this from the Bowser. And I know, I know, tries it, but oh, oh my god! And that's a lot of, that's a little bit of damage. The momentum is just shifting from each team to each team. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's just going back Both and forth. Both teams, teams kind of even right now. Some of that damage in it. Athena actually saving Itaku out on that ledge situation. And they're just chasing after Itaku right now. A lot of damage on him, but honestly, I think they realize really, you know, Bowser is such a big character. They can combo him easily, and he does so much damage to them. And I like Itaku's options. Return to center stage, and unfortunately that PKT2 is not going to hit right there. All right, Shaky going off. Both of them are fine pressure. Put another down B, but not going to kill yet. The up air was a soft spot, actually. And now... Oh, Shaky getting the grab, but DSS actually interrupts it. Oh my god, the up B right there from... Ooh. And now he's off stage. Getting the down attack. Both of them at an extremely high percent. Yeah, they're both off stage in a very bad situation. And Shaky misses that up air yet again. And the down B right oh, there is just good air dodge. Yeah, a great air dodge from Shaky. Shaky there. getting two back throws, but that's not going to kill Athena yet. Ooh, and the down. So much percentage on Bowser. A lot of damage right there. 30%. Just oh, one little combo. Goodness, Shaky so going much for pressure. the platform took it. Oh, and you oh, see that up throw hitbox. As it comes into play, as I said earlier, a very, very unusual hitbox. Another up throw deadly hitbox is actually now, meta is actually in favor of the blue team right now. I did not expect this, actually. Turning it around, the Bowser pick giving them great momentum. And generally just power. And that's oh, what yeah. they need in this, in this scenario. And they have to be really careful. Oh! Smash so much damage. And the neutral, or the, the jab right there. And she has to be careful of how shaky approaches this. Oh, jeez. Oh, the up throw flips him. Oh my gosh, left in a 2v1. And now is this it? That's actually it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. And that is Changing characters, managing to do that. I did not expect that out of the talk. That Bowser just coming out of the woodwork and managing to take game three. Well, Bowser did make a big difference. Shaky and DSS did hit and interrupt each other quite a lot. At one point, DSS had Hitaku in a ladder. But, oh no, Shaky had Hitaku in a down throw on top platform, which could lead to a kill, but uh, DS has jumped up and actually up aired him. Uh, just a little, you know, fudge that they're probably going to be fixing this next game, next game being more careful or next game. And I would say that they wanted to go to a bigger stage, like maybe not. I, I just have we battle the entire time. I think the entire time is going to go in battle. <laughs> But I honestly think that Battlefield is just, I don't know if it's the right choice at this point. The Bowser, having such a little room to move around, it's good for him for the most part. Like, he, he likes that small space. He doesn't mind being in your face, because he's just going to hit. He's going to hit you a lot. Oh, shaky going for the upbeat. Doesn't clip him right there. And now, once again, Blue Team taking another lead. I think it has 0% on her right now, but oh, now she took 2% from yeah. the upper, actually. And now they're just putting a lot of pressure on his talking with 0% or around 10% actually. Oh, the air oh. move does second immediately, and that's very, very vital tech right there. From the Shaky doing an up air string on Athena. And building with a lot of percentage actually from Oh, yeah. Season. And the downbeat oh. and a double kill. DBZ. Right and that was absolutely crazy. nuts. Very crazy. And the yeah, upbeat's gonna kill right there, yeah. Quick stop right there from Hitaku. Hitaku's getting a good 15% just off one up air. That shield is gonna break. Oh, hitting Shaky, which could kill so early. Hitaku is just going off right now. We have yet to see use of the side beam, which could be even deadlier yeah. in this with so many people around. Yeah. Ooh, the back air. Doing a lot of damage. And the Ooh, that getting the back. Back. But Dina's still living. And I love the defensive play right there. The down beam! Just going for it at this point. I don't think Shaky and and DSS are really expecting it. It's it's very hard to react to sometimes. It's a very quick move. Up smash? No, up so I like that option instead. Ah, no he that. waited seeing if Shaky was gonna shield or jump. I think if Hitaku had gone for the out there conversion, I'm gonna throw a four tilt. And that actually, the sword right there saving. Oh yeah. Hitaku. Double back throw. Oh, trying to get the grab. Shaky gets instead back throw, but this is Bowser we're talking about. Here. Ooh, the up Anywhere. smash! And Athena, two up smashes right there. 
now she has to be really oh, up throw. I think DSS is looking for it. Yeah, trying to find a kill maybe with that? Oh yeah, no, it, it happened it before I think yesterday. Yeah, it happened before uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I Ooh, a double back air right there, and Athena and Hitok is still living. That's a very heavy character, and that down air from the oh. yeah, and the uppy killing from the bottom of battle. Oh, the bottom of battle for the stage, I mean. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, actual stage stuff. But you get my <laughs> And the neutral be right there, gonna build up 20% actually. Very, very good. These two still have a major chance to win this with, you know, Ness having such a linear recovery and the fact that Meta Knight is at such high percentage being so light. And generally, just Bowser having that, those plays that he can just do that just kills people. Oh, yeah. But he has to be really careful with the, um, the PKT too. Oh, oh down these! Oh, he oh no! Oh, no, she, no, she threw him! But that's actually, could have been very smart. Could have definitely led to something the up. He does great if they have more time. Good tech on Athena. We're gonna try to find that down air. Shaky looking for the down air. Now, ooh, the backer still having his jump. Stage. Ooh, the neutral be and a lot of damage actually being built, uh, built up right there. 22% exactly. Athena holding back with her projectiles. Yeah, they need to take Shaky stock just to make sure that this is gone. The Taki's playing so safe because he's at such a high percentage. Just punches him right in the face, and the side beat! Oh, the side beat taking it! And I just said earlier that side beat coming into play, actually. Oh, yeah. And now, no, with top hop from a battlefield, too. Now it's not out of the possibility. A little bit of damage right here. Trying to attack that. Going DSF has to be really careful. And so much damage. Oh, oh, Lord! That was so scary. So scary. Oh, Lord. Bowser hits so strong, and it's just so scary to be and in a situation honestly, where he has almost full rage. He has, yeah, you said, he, you said it. He has full rage, and both these players are 50%. It's, oh, it's oh, right there! Hidaku, but not making it back. It's all up to Athena right now. So, managing, wanting to bring this to game five, but shaky. Shiki could totally just back throw with Dino right now and take the star uh, out of the possibility. Maybe if she gets a little bit more percentage, shedding the nair. Oh, the oh, up there right there it. from Shiki. Perfect spacing on that. Yeah. Up to game four. So, such an intense, so crazy. That was very close. Actually, I know I might exaggerate saying this, but I do believe if she got it with some pummels, a checkmate could have killed. Yeah, yeah. With that much rage. If that PKT or if that up air had missed, it would have been possible for her to get that checkmate. Yes, and I've I've killed with checkmate so early before, like 50, 60 percent, because rage is just so crazy in this game. And we have to think about like this earlier. We saw uh, the shield break earlier, actually putting uh, her in the perfect position, and uh, it was it was very important that like you know the shield. Break